Shalom, it's Rabbi Eliezri, and this is the most unusual sermon I've ever given. I've never given one like this on a Shabbos morning. It's a Thursday afternoon, and I'm standing here in the social hall of our shul, with, and behind me is the big screen, and we're broadcasting live from New York a Hasidic wedding. That's right, but you can't dance today. You can't celebrate like regular. So the bride and groom have been put into a beautiful white Bentley, and they're traveling the streets of Brooklyn, of Crown Heights, the Chabad neighborhood in New York, and people are coming out of their windows, and they're coming on the street corners, and they're coming on their porches, and they're sharing that simcha together with them. They're celebrating for the them together with them at that moment. And what does this teach us? This is a very important lesson. How do we face adversity? And by the way, this is again a live broadcast, not from CBS, not from NPC, but from Chabad Broadcasting Service, the newest broadcasting service. He got three million channels of, on, on cable, now we got a new one. But we're broadcasting only good things, you know, the thing about good news. We're good news. And you can hear the music, there's a truck blow, blow, blowing the music to the, to the whole community. But I want to share with you a thought about this. And I thought I should do the Taurus, this, this thought, this Torah thought as this broadcast was going on, which is very important. Is we all facing this difficulty. We are stuck in our homes. Our businesses are going through difficult. We have stores. They may be closed. Some of us are not working. Some of us, God forbid, may have lost their jobs. We're all hoping that the stimulus package is going to be pa passed by Congress soon. That's going to help out all the country. But the question is, how do we overcome these difficulties? And the answer, my friends, is very, very simple. The first point, there has to be a sense of joy, of simcha. There has to be a sense of innovation. We can't just say, oh, vey, look what has happened to me. It's so terrible. I can't make it. I can't do it. No, that's not what it is. You have to have a positive attitude. And when you have a positive attitude, the bride and groom who had the hall planned and the smorgasbord and the meals and the food and everything, well, they found a way to celebrate. And you know what? A whole community is celebrating with them. Thousands of people are sitting on the wall. There, they're, 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 they're singing to everybody. It's beautiful. We can find a way to overcome this problem. And you know, there's also, this whole thing is a little bit difficult. Why? Because we thought we had a life and everything was working in a certain way. Everything was doing, we had a certain kind of structure. And this is causing us to pause and think about what's really important in life and really not important in life. We have to, this is a process, this whole story of coronavirus is creating a fundamental process of personal reassessment about our relationships, about really what we want to do with our lives, how do we want to spend our times. Some of us run to work in the morning or we go to school, we have these things we do or we go to the gym and we don't pause to think about really what are we here for and why are we living. Suddenly we have to sit a little bit quieter and we have to reflect and we have to pause. And this is the lesson to this. And one of the keys to all of this is something that we learn in this week's Torah portion. It tells us, Vayikra Hashem, God calls to Moses. And if you look at the first word Vayikra in the Torah itself, in the original Torah written by hand by a scribe, you'll see the last letter of the first word Vayikra, Aleph, is written very small. And what is the lesson? It was Moses' sense of humility. Here was the greatest teacher of Torah of all times, the greatest probably political leader of all times, but he saw himself as a humble person. It wasn't about him, it's what he could do for the community. He had a sense of humility. So when we have a sense of humility and we tie that into simcha and joy and happiness, we can overcome these, these difficulties and we can overcome these problems. So my friends, let me wish you a wonderful Shabbat. I'm sorry I can't celebrate with you, but we're, gonna, we're there all together. It, it, our hearts are all together. And as we get ready for Passover, which is just about uh, almost two weeks, just a little bit less than two weeks away, we hope that this will be a, a true holiday of liberation. I want to just do a little bit of housekeeping and share with you some thoughts about Passover. If you, if you would like to sell your chametz or you need information on the holiday, you need uh, uh, insights for the Haggadah, you need stories, you even need an interactive Hebrew Haggadah, English Hebrew Haggadah, and much more, go to our website, ocjewish.com forward slash Passover. You'll find everything that's there, recipes, stories for the kids, insights for the Haggadah, and make it a much more meaningful holiday. And you can sell your chametz online. You're not supposed to own 11 products during the holidays. You need shmura matzah, handmade shmura matzah. If you come to the, our, our facility on your Belinda Boulevard, on a table in front of the education building and back, you'll find shmura matzah waiting for you. And if you, if you need more, just give us a call or send us an email and we'll be glad to help you out with whatever you need. In the meanwhile, let's have a sense of simcha. Let's enjoy ourselves with this bride and groom as they celebrate in Brooklyn and let's bring happiness and celebration into our own lives. Let's take the moment
moments that we have and make them special. Let's, let's take the, the opportunities that have been given to us and let's use them as a sense of inspiration. And let's have a wonderful Shabbat. Let's sit together with your family, share with them thoughts, talk to them, and let's have a great Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom for Rabbi Eliezer and from a beautiful wedding in Brooklyn. <laughs>